It is eight minutes away from seven. Paul Henry. We're going to make sense of Greece now. The deadline is just hours away. Greece looks set to default on a loan by the International Monetary Fund at 10 o'clock New Zealand time this morning. It comes after a last-minute two-year rescue package put forward by the nation's government appears to have been rejected by the Eurogroup. So what needs to be done to fix their broken economy and should Greece leave the Eurozone? Should they have done that ages ago? With me now is New Zealand Initiative Executive Director, Dr Oliver Hartwich. Oliver, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Um, first of all, why does the Eurozone not want Greece to leave? Because they should have gone long ago. There are a few reasons. I think one of the reasons is that European integration, so the um, European Union um, project, has always been going in just one direction, that it was towards more integration. They've never kicked a country out. Mm -hmm. so that would be a first. Okay, so it goes against the grain, number exactly. one. Exactly. Number two is actually, the moment that Greece leaves, it will be very expensive for the rest of Europe, because so far they've mainly given them guarantees. Once Greece departs, once Greece defaults, they have to cough it, up. It will be really expensive. OK, so the analogy here is, say, one of my daughters wants to buy a house, so she buys a house and gets a mortgage because I guarantee that mortgage. I never pay any money until she goes west yep. and then the bank come to me because I guaranteed the mortgage. That's precisely it. Uh, and in this case, we're talking about, for example, for Germany, between 60 and 80 billion euros the moment that Greece leaves. And that's Germany alone. Exactly. Which is possibly why Angela Merkel is, is uh, front and foremost in trying to keep Greece going. Well, Angela Merkel is very rational. She would rather like some of her successors actually to deal with the problem rather yep. than actually paying the money herself. Absolutely. Put it off, put it off, put it off. Yep. All right. Are we at the point now, do you think, genuinely, where Greece cannot put off the inevitable any longer? Well, let's put it this way. In economics, there's a technical term for what's happening, and that's Greece is toast. Basically, it's bankrupt. It's been bankrupt for five is that, years. Is that actually a technical economic term, toast? Well, I think um, <laughs> I've just made it one. <laughs> look, Greece can never reach So no that. rational person could look at the financial situation Greece is in and say, we think they can trade their way out of this. Of course not, because 180% debt to GDP, which basically means they can never, ever repay their so debt. So they have to default? Yes. But that's not the only thing they should do. They should get out of the Eurozone. Actually, they should have never been admitted in the first place. There's no place for Greece in the Eurozone because they can never really catch up with other more okay, developed so countries. So they get out of the Eurozone, they go back to their own currency yep. or develop a new currency, which is immediately devalued to almost nothing? Which No, not, not nothing, but 30 40% would probably do the trick for Greece because that's what uh, they're most, more expensive than the others. So to regain competitiveness with their neighbours, especially with you know Turkey and Bulgaria and actually attract more tourists into their country, mm. they need to get cheaper. They can't get cheaper as long as they're in the Eurozone, no. because they have to do something that's called okay. internal devaluation doesn't work. They're not just a cot case financially, though. Administratively, they're a cot case. Well, so how can they, How can they? even if you were to knock all of these debts on the head, I mean, you seem to have a population in Greece that are not prepared to take any medicine at all. Well, uh, Greece has many, many different problems. One of them is actually, it's one of the most corrupt countries in Europe. They've got this practice, I'm not making this up, of fakalaki. Fakalaki means uh, envelopes filled with money. And basically, that's the way you buy your way into anything. I've heard stories that even if you want to be with the birth of your child in hospital, you have to bribe, you bribe the midwife. Your way in. Exactly. So that's a widespread culture. They've got a problem there. They've got a problem with the tax system. They have no proper land registry. Um, they pay 16% of their GDP on pensions. Germany pays 10 So wherever you look in Greece, they cot need case. reforms. Absolute cot case. Uh, and they're very reluctant, obviously, to take any of that medicine, as I say. What do you predict will happen in the next week? We will see more last-minute um, deals and more midnight negotiations and long summits in Brussels. That's why we love the EU. It's great theatre. Mm. But um, I don't really think we're going to see a final solution in the next week or so because um, they will still Because no one wants them to leave for the very reason that you just told us. Exactly. Before. It's all self-interest. So no one's trying to do Greece any favours. They're trying to do themselves favours. Exactly. Um, Oliver, thank you very much. It's so understandable. You've just put, you've just crystallised the whole thing. Dr Oliver Hartwich, New Zealand uh, Initiative Executive Director. News is next.